Hello, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with DRC Enterprises of Central Florida Incorporated here. And today I'm going to do show you how to, in Dreamweaver CS3, Adobe's Dreamweaver CS3, um, I'm going to show you how to add an image uh, in Dreamweaver. Um, this is a screenshot of my website here, Florida Shore Fishing Charters. And what I've been doing in some of the past uh, uh, Photoshop um, uh, uh, lessons I've been doing here. I'm taking pictures and I'm making them to where they're clickable and you know editing them so I can change them out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here and I'm going to take the picture here and we're going to replace it with one that we just did in one of the lessons with Photoshop CS6. So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to go to Dreamweaver uh, logged on, turned on I'm going to come over here and I'm going to connect to my remote site. And we're all connected. I've already uploaded the pictures into my root folder over here. You can see that's the first key. There's so much to go over. I'm going to do this in baby steps to say. Uh, there's no way I can explain everything. I'm by no means a professional webmaster or website designer. Um, I take it day by day by day. And I do these videos as, um, in layman's term, to help you, the people that are out there in the same position as me. I'm a small business owner, I'm a professional fishing guide, I'm a professional painter, and I like to design and build my own websites, take pictures, and I don't want to pay somebody to do all this stuff. So I've slowly learned it over the years. I've had this site up and running for years and years. It was done in uh, originally Macromedia 8. Then I switched over to Adobe uh, Dreamweaver CS3. Um, my new sites that I'm doing for the Mosquito Lagoon site fishing charters is going to be done with Fluid Grid Layout and CS6. And we'll touch on that later. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my index homepage. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this picture right here and I'm going to impose, I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to put a new picture in there that we just did recently. I'm going to take this picture right here that we've recently worked on in Photoshop and I'm going to replace it there. However, actually I'm going to replace it with this one, the thumbnail size. So what we'll do here is we'll click on this and the first thing that you're going to want to do is highlight the correct area that you're going to remove I highlight that and just like in Photoshop if you mess something up edit step backward now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to insert insert image like I said I've already uploaded it to my root folder I'm gonna go in here and find the picture I've named it it's HP where's it at here here it is right here Make sure I put in the right one. It's 211 by 141, the thumbnail. There she is. And the alt text, this is good. So when uh, somebody mouses over it or uh, you know the bots look at it, I'm going to label it. It's a Mosquito Lagoon Redfish. Then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on the picture right here. There she is. Now the one thing I need to do is I'm going to link it to the correct picture. And here's where it gets tricky. You want to pay attention. Come down here and find the picture. And I believe it was HP right here. This one right here. This one right here is the small thumbnail version. So what I'm going to do is you're going to come over here to link. You're going to click on that. Hold the button down. And you're going to drag it over here. And just highlight over it, right? And then let go. The next thing I'm going to do is the target is how is that thumbnail going to open up? Is it going to open up as a blank, a parent, self, top? I've been doing them in blank. That's personal preference. Some people say do it parent. Some say do it a new site to each their own. Now here's the next key, and this is where I learned trial by error. I couldn't figure it out. It took me some learning. The blue border around right you want to get rid of that very easy to do just come over here click on border put just zero in there 
There we go. Click on the picture again, and there it is done. So now the only other thing you want to do is come up in here and just look at this. Make sure it's all correct there. There's the link. It's going to link to the alt. Now if I wanted to put in a title, I could come over here and I could put in, you could type in title. Title is when you mouse over it, it will, you know, say what it is. So we'll go ahead and enter that. It's T-I-T-L-E equals, uh, we'll put redfish. Now we'll put mosquito lagoon redfish. Make sure the space. So now after all this is done, what I want to do is, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift F7. I do this regardless, um, spell check and Dreamweaver, everything looks good, everything looks good. I'm going to come up here and com hit Commands, clean up any X, uh, HTML, looks fine. I'm going to come over here to File, and I'm going to save it. Now, depending on who your host provider is, uh, you'll want to upload the files now. Now, before I put this picture, picture in here, I went and did uh, something on the side that you just didn't see me do. I you know, highlighted these two, and I uploaded them. There's the upload. There's to the get the files off your server. Uh, just saved a step here on the video. So now what we'll do is I'm going to scroll down and find my home file that I'm working on here, index. Uh, where is she at? There she is. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to upload it. There we go. Just give it a second. There we go. Now let's check it and make sure. I'm going to go over here live on the web. I'm going to refresh it. And there's the young lady with the Mosquito Lagoon Redfish. Worked perfectly, everything looks good, uh, and so on and so forth. So now what I'll do is I'll just come up over here, and I'm going to do some more pictures here. So there you go in a nutshell on how you can put an image on a page in Dreamweaver. Just like if I wanted to put an image over here, I could click there, insert image, so on and so forth. Um, like this image right here, I could drag it around. You know, I could move it there. I could move it here. If I wanted a line, right or left, I just come over here and hit a line, and left or right, and so on and so forth. Again, like I said, if you do something and you're not happy with it, edit, undo, edit, undo, and so on and so forth. Thank you, everybody. Again, this is Drew with DRC Enterprises of Central Florida. Until then, everybody have a good day.